this watercolor in the Metropolitan Museum is probably more reproduced than major paintings by people like Rubens and El Greco and Rembrandt. It's one of the most widely reproduced works in the museum, except that nobody knows who did it. With the exception of professional art critics and a few art dealers around the country, you would mention the name Adolf Dane, and I don't think 300 people in the country would know who the name Adolf Dane was. We're here in this beautiful autumn afternoon in, in October, this extraordinary place, Mass Mocha. What the Artist Book Foundation is doing is, you know, giving oxygen to sort of there's a real sense of these people, their spirits are living again. They're, they're here, they're, these artists have not been forgotten. In an era before television, the only time the American public saw any kind of color or anything visual was when either the Time Magazine or the Saturday Evening Post arrived in your mailbox. These were the most written about, admired artists in New York in the, in the 30s and 40s. By the 50s, there were nobodies. We live in a world where these imaginary things are worth unbelievable sums of money or they're worth nothing at all if fashion changes. There's something really very spiritual and magical about that we're able to bring the spirit of this man, this important artist, back into the work we're doing.